Hi everyone, so questions on menopause on a dry mouth. Uh, last week I did a story where I, 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 people could ask questions what they wanted me to do reels, posts and stories on. Uh, we were inundated, it was brilliant, we got massive amounts of questions. So I'm going to try and get through them in different videos. Um, this one was menopause in a dry mouth, so can, uh, go, uh, can the menopause cause a dry mouth? Yes. How common is it? A about 25%, about a quarter. It's trying to, it's some trials can be um, differ slightly, but as a general rule, like rule, I would say to patients, about a quarter. Is it the reduction in estrogen? Yes, it is, but it's also a reduction in progesterone and testosterone as well. Oestrogen, progesterone, and testosterone all affect saliva flow and saliva composition. Does the oral microbiome differ during the menopause? Yes, it does. Um, it can favour some of the disease-causing bacteria. We have a balance of bacteria in the mouth between commensal bacteria and disease-causing bacteria. Yes, it can shift that balance. I'm going to be talking about this in a lot more detail next week. I'm delighted because I'm on Louise Newsom's uh, podcast. I've been a long admirer of her podcast and I'm on that next week. So it's a discussion on menopause, perimenopause and how it can affect uh, oral health and the, our dental perspective from it. So there's going to be a lot more information coming soon, hopefully relatively soon after we've recorded the podcast. Uh, please keep these questions coming. You don't have to respond to a story to ask me questions, but we've got a lot of um, questions that need answering. I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of weeks. Uh, wishing you all the best. Take care. Bye.